So we're still working on the trapezoidal rule. This time we're actually going to do a worked example for the trapezoidal rule. Now I have to um, I have to warn you, this does get quite complicated at times. Uh, but if you stick to what you're actually doing, if you really realize what you're actually doing is finding a bunch of trapezoidal shapes, finding the areas of each and adding them together, uh, it's pretty much grade 9 stuff. Uh, it's just that our, our working is going to look a bit crazy here at times. Uh, at the very end of this video, though, you will get a nice, neat little formula that um, makes it all simple. But I really want to spend some time explaining how it actually works first. So here we have a really simple function, uh, f of x equals x squared. So it's a parabola, x squared, uh, pretty straightforward. We want to find the area under the curve between 1 and 4 using 6 trapezoids. I really should say, oops. I really should say we're not finding it, we're approximating it. Because we're not going to find the exact area, we're going to find an approximate area. So approximate the area under the curve between 1 and 4, use 6 trapezoids. Now, uh, first of all, I'm just going to draw that in. So we're going between 1 and 4. And we want to find the area, or approximate the area under the curve between 1 and 4. Now we're going to use 6 trapezoids. Now first of all we need to know what is the width of each of those trapezoids going to be. Now the easiest way to find that width, the width is equal to um, 4 minus 1 because that's the distance between here and here so there's a distance of 3 between here and here divided by the number of trapezoids you want to use. So 3 over 6 so the width of each trapezoid is going to be 0 0.5. So I'm just going to draw those trapezoids in now. Um, 2, 3, 1.5, 2.5, and 3.5. You can see if there's going to be six trapezoids, they're going to have each have a width of 0 0.5. So one trapezoid, two trapezoids, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and the the um, those each one of those gets linked up to make a trapezoid. I'm just going to draw that in so you can see what it looks like. All right, so you can see we've got uh, six trapezoids here: one, two, three, four, five, six, each with a width of 0 0.5. Uh, now we really need to know what each of these points are because if we're going to find the area of each trapezoid, we need to know this length here, and we need to know this length here. Okay, so easiest way to do that is to do up a table, uh, x and y values. And we're going to need to do them for everything. 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and 4. Okay, now there's a really, really simple way to do this on your calculator, which we'll uh, do now. Okay, so I've got my uh, calculator out here. Now, uh, this is something you probably haven't used a lot of, but I'm going to use my table function here. So, arrow down to the table function, open it up. Now, I'm going to type in the function that I'm using, uh, the function I'm interested in, x squared. So, in the same way that you graph them, this time we're going to do a table of x squared. So y equals x squared. I'm going to press my, I might do my set button first. Now I'm going to set this up. So I press the set button. I'll just do that again for you. y equals x squared. Press the set button. Now I'm going to start at the number 1 and I'm going to end at the number 4. And my steps, I'm going up in 0.5s. Okay, looks good. And then just click the table button. And you can see that it immediately gives us a table that's useful to us. 1, 1, 1.5, 2.25, 2, 4. I'll just write all these in now. Okay, so 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, 4, 16. They're pretty easy. I'll just grab my other ones. 1.5, 2.25, and 2.5 is 6.25. 2.25, 6.25. 2.5, 6.25, and finally, just come down, 3.5, 12.25. Okay, so really important that you know how to do that. Um, make sure you rewind, play again, try it on your calculator, make sure you understand how that works. Okay, I can get rid of my calculator now for a little while. Get rid of you. 
now that we've got that, uh, we just need to find the area of each of these trapeziums. So first of all, maybe a quick refresher on how to find the area of a trapezium. Okay, so here's a trapezium here. Now the area of a trapezium is equal to the height of a trapezium. So the, oops, write the formula in for you. The height of a trapezium divided by two times a plus b. So in this particular case, it's 0 0.5 divided by 2 times uh, 4 plus 6. So that's uh, 0 0.5 divided by 2 times 10. Uh, and that's going to be uh, 2.5, I think. Okay, so that's how to find the area of one trapezium. Now, obviously, with our question, we've got... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six trapeziums that we need to deal with. Uh, now, I'll write a little bit of this out for you, but believe me, there is a slightly easier way, which we're going to cover in a moment. Now, this means that the... Oops, hang on a second. That means that the area of this particular shape is equal to the height... Height divided by 2 times a plus b. Um, oops. Now, a plus b. Now, a is actually f of 1. And b is actually f of 1.5. Okay, so that's the area of our first trapezium. Uh, we can even get rid of that h and write it in as uh, 0 0.5 because that's the distance from there to there. Now adding that we've got h over 2 times f of 1.5 plus f of 2. That's our second one here plus h over 2 bracket f of 2 plus f of 2.5. That's our third one here. And we do the same with the fourth one. I'll just do the fourth one really quickly. h over 2 bracket f of 2 bracket... Oh, sorry, f of 2.5 bracket plus f of 3 bracket. And we can go on and on and on and on and on like this. Now... If you look, you've got one, two, three, four, five. You'll have six terms by the time we get to the fifth and the sixth trapeziums. But all of these terms have some common factors. H over 2. And then everything in this, these brackets here. Now, if you look at what's in these brackets, you can see that there's one F of 1. And there's... 2f of 1.5s, there's 2f of 2s, there's 2f of 2.5s, there'll be 2f of 3s, 2f of 3.5s, but there'll only be 1f of 4 because that's the end. The reason that there's 2f of 1.5s and 2f of 2s is because the trapeziums each share a side. You can see the bottom of this trapezium is the top of this trapezium. The bottom of this trapezium is the top of this trapezium. These trapeziums on the ends, though, has a top that doesn't join onto another trapezium, and this trapezium has a bottom that doesn't join onto another trapezium. The reason I'm saying this is because there's a shortcut formula here. Now, the shortcut formula is h over 2 bracket sum of ends plus two times sum of middle. Okay, that looks confusing, but um, hopefully it starts to make a little bit of sense. When I say sum of ends, what I mean is this end value and this end value. So we add the sum of the ends. Oh, sorry, we, we add the ends together to get the sum of the ends. So that's going to be h over 2 times the sum of the ends, which I can just write as e if I want to. 
that's the sum of the ends. Uh, and that's going to be two times the sum of the middle. Now, when I say sum of the middle, I mean all of these numbers. Okay, so two times. And again, for the sum of the middle, I'll just write 2m. m means sum of middle. So e equals sum of ends. m equals sum of the middle. Uh, we can really finish this off now. Now we know that h is the distance between each of these, which is 0 0.5. So it's 0 0.5 divided by 2. We can see the sum of the ends is 1 plus 16, which is 17. And then we need 2 times the sum of the middle. Now we just need to add up those middle numbers and we should end up with an answer here. Okay, so adding up those middle numbers, we're going to get 2.25 plus 4 plus 6.25 plus 9 plus 12.25. That's going to give us 33.75. Okay, we're getting there. So we've got 0 0.5 over 2 over 17 plus 2 times 33.75. So uh, we can pretty much do this whole thing now in, in one step, I guess. 17 plus 2 times... 33.75, uh, that's no good, sorry, 2 times 33.75 is 67.5, add the 17, so that whole thing in the brackets here is 84.5, and then I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.5, which is the thing out the front, divided by 2, and I get an answer, 21. Now, just before we finish up, uh, I probably just want to make this very, very clear. Now, everything that I've just explained to you can be summed up quite, uh, quite succinctly, I suppose. The area under the curve, or the approximate area under the curve, is equal to h over 2, that is the distance between the strips, times the sum of the end values. Now remember the sum of the end values, end value, end value, plus two times the sum of the middle values. So take all the middle values, add them together, and then multiply them by two. This formula, this formula is everything that we've just done then. So I showed you this because I really wanted you to understand where it all came from and then it starts to get easier here and you answer those things. Now this, remember that you use your table thing in your calculator to find the table. Simple enough. Uh, now one final word, I know this has been a long video, one final word here. I just want to show you, we said that the area is 21.25. Now I can show you using GeoGebra Point one two five. There's y equals x squared. There's our six rectangles, and there's our answer. Now we can probably, oops, probably just stretch that out a bit, so we can see that those are true trapeziums, and there's actually a little bit of overhang there. This is an overestimation because of the way that the curve works. Okay, uh, this was finding the Oh, sorry, the trapezoidal rule. Uh, this is a worked example. Uh, you have to practice these. You can't pretend that everything's going to be fine. There is a truckload of work here to be done. Uh, and it would be expected that you can do it fairly quickly using technology and a very, very simple formula here. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I know it was a long one. See ya.